I'm worried about reading the obituary of a student or a colleague, and that will just be too heartbreaking for me. Some Tennessee professors are saying students cannot be trusted. This comes after video shows college aged kids piled into a bar near Tennessee Tech. Rebecca Cardenas from our NBC affiliate in Nashville spoke to a professor who says this kind of student behavior could have deadly consequences. A packed bar in Cookville as classes resume at Tennessee Tech. When I saw that video, it was kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back is a saying uh, because I've been worried about this all summer. Tennessee Tech English professor Andrew Smith says this country dance hall called Revolver is frequented by local college students. The crowd is in direct violation of the governor's executive order, which states bars may only offer service to seated customers. We called the nightclub for an explanation. Are you guys aware that that's in violation of the government's current order as it pertains to bars? I'm sorry, who are you with? Channel 4. I'm sorry, no comment. Beyond the government's enforcement, Smith believes the school should step in to discipline the students. We've been trying to get folks' attention for weeks to listen to the students and faculty who are worried. We're the grown-ups in the room. We can't rely on the students to necessarily have all the best uh, boundaries. He and a group of his colleagues sent the university administration this letter, calling their decision to return to mostly in-person classes reckless and asking the university to include COVID conduct policies. I'm worried about reading the obituary of a student or a colleague, and that will just be too heartbreaking for me. It's a pandemic. We'll get back to the college experience when it's safe. And of course, I want that. Everybody wants that. Our partners reached out to Tennessee Tech for a comment. School leaders say in part, we are aware of the video and are very concerned of the possible implications. We are currently looking into the situation. If we identify a student who has engaged in reckless behavior that results in exposure to COVID-19, we will take any and all actions available to us.